Gan also in our ah, language. Ganasi. Kites are flying in the sky, and we are watching the colorful kites cover the skies. And today we will talk with the uh, Rosanna Portela, uh, is the uh, communications officer of UNHCR, uh, as because we know UNHCR organized this kite festival in this evening. So, do you uh, please tell us what is the aim of this festival? The idea of this festival is to show our gratitude to Bangladeshi people and the Cuxbaz residents who have welcomed the Rohingya refugees when they had to flee. It is a way to remember that we were all children, that we all love to fly kites, that we all have dreams and that just like we are enjoying flying kites here, we hope that the, the children in the camps can also do that. So, uh, how many kites are here? Today we had 300 kites that were flown and the idea is that some will be donated now to the Rohingya refugee kids because most of them have never had a toy and it's a way for them to, to have fun and to actually be children. Actually, so how many organizations are involved with this event? So initially it was UNHCR together with BDRCS and a smaller group called Art Dolution. But we did this together with the authorities of Cox Bazaar and we're very happy for the support. We were joined by the superintendent of the tourist police. So we're very happy that this is a joint initiative. We hope it's one of many. So uh, what, is, what, what the message you would like to throw uh, to the host community and the Rohingyas and the world community through this Kair Festival? What we want to show is that we can live in peace, that we all are connected, that we all are connected to the same sky, we're connected with dreams and that we can make the world a better place if we support each other. And I think the Bangladeshi community who became refugees themselves 52 years ago this month are showing this. They're an example to the world of how you can extend your hand and save someone's life. And that's what you have done with the Rohingya refugees. You have saved their lives. And today is a celebration of that. So thank you. There is another person, Mr. Bajid. Uh, so I'm watching that you uh, you are staying, you're standing with the kites. So what do you feel today? I feel actually extraordinary to be here to see the colorful uh, kite festival. Uh, then actually it reminds us our old heritage and also our childhood, how we used to enjoy you know, such kind of activities. So thank you so much. So another thing we'd like to ask to uh, Regina uh, in our regional term, uh, that is Kanaso. Sorry? Kanaso in our ah. language. Ganasi. <laughs> okay, so you are, uh, are watching that the many colorful kites cover the sky and uh, there is an, uh, in another part uh, there is music, live music and the Bulbul actor is singing uh, that you, uh, we are listening at the uh, sweet tune of Bulbul actor. On the other hand, many tourists have gathered here in the uh, beach area and they're flying kites so you know fly, kites has a philosophy that a kite is flying up and we should think we should think about something in up and we should look forward up not below thank you for being with us